You know, when it comes to the majority of things in gaming now, I try to keep a cool head about everything. I mean, there are some things I see that I'm like, oh, that's cool, yeah. And there's some things that I see and I'm just like, yeah, you know what, I'm going to pass. I don't really give a shit about that, whatever. And so, yeah, so I try to maintain a more civilized view of thing about things on gaming these days just to just to relax there's a lot of gamers out there you know i think go crazy over the, over the slightest and dumbest thing and i'm trying to i'm trying to get away from that i'm trying to be more of a uh just trying to be more of a relaxed type of gamer trying to trying to give gamers a good name when it comes to you know stuff they like and don't like be like look okay i'm cool i'm cool with this but i'm not cool with this i'm gonna pass on that you know stuff i'm trying to be trying to be nice and uh nice and level-headed about things but every once in a while, I see some shit that I'm just like, okay, no, I'm sorry. I have to, I, if I have to become the raving crazy fanboy person to, to talk about this, then it's what's gonna fucking happen. And this, I cannot rip my head around. And I just do not like this, this idea at all. And the fact that Tekken 7, their season, their, their season 2 has been announced for DLC characters. That's what, that's what fighting games do nowadays, apparently. That's, I think that's a, a topic I want to get into. A later time, but they're do now they're get, they're they come out the base game and then come out with seasons where they add uh, where they add more characters through DLC and stuff throughout throughout the next couple of weeks or months or whatever. And uh, first of all, I blame Microsoft and uh, and and Killer Instinct for this. But like I said, that that'll be a topic for another time. But one of the characters they announced, I cannot get behind on this one, and that character is how do we say his name? Negan? Negan from The Walking Dead? I don't know how to say his name. I've never, I don't think I've actually heard his name out loud. I've only seen it read. I'm gonna, I'm gonna say Negan. Is it Negan? Is that who it is? Negan from The Walking Dead. You know the character who's got like the baseball bat with the, with the, um, with the barbed wire around it? Cause that's an original idea that never happened before. Like, uh, you know, the dude sitting there and he's like, oh, look at it. I'm, t I'm this tough leader guy. And he's like bashing people's heads in. And like, if you watched, watched, the Walking Dead, or read The Walking Dead in the comics, however you go, you know who Negan is, and you know who this guy is, and I gotta ask, what fucking business does this piece of shit have to do, what business does he have being in this fucking game? This is the, like, the least, most out of place character I've ever seen in a video game, like, ever. I'm not even kidding. At least a lot of games where they have put these guest characters, they fit, believe it or not, they, they kind of fit in the world that they're putting the characters in. Like Mortal Kombat has got a bunch of like these horror movie characters in it now. They got Leatherface, got the Xenomorph, they got they got Jason and stuff like the Freddy Krueger. And as ridiculous as that is, I can kind of see how they fit into that world, how it's possible and how they could keep up with that. But Tekken with Negan, like just that's, no, I'm sorry. This is the most, like even with what's his name, like, what, Noctis? I thought that was stretching it, but I was like, eh, it's whatever. I can kind of see it, but it's kind of dumb. But Negan, I just, I'm sorry that dude has no business being in this game. Now, if Tekken 7 is, like, dying right now, I don't think bringing a character from a dying show is going to, like, bring the, is gonna bring it back up to the top. I mean, like, ah, I, I'm sorry. I've seen people get excited about it. I'm like, I can't, I can't do it, guys. I cannot put this character in this game. I cannot see it feasible or even possible. Just for a second, just for a second, let me, let, let me play, let, just play a game with me here. Let's pretend, let's pretend. I know this is gonna be a very stretch match. I know it's just a video game and stuff like that. It's just a video game, I get that, I get that. But let's just say, for example, let's say Tekken was real. Say, say the shit they do in Tekken, you could do in real life. You know, th these characters in Tekken, they, they like, they, they're so powerful in their martial arts that they started like developing supernatural abilities. They pretty much have superhero abilities. They're so jacked in stuff in their martial arts. Street Fighter does this too, but like we're focusing on taking right now. Like to the point where freaking what's his name, Hayashi can like generate electricity. That's how much. That's how his martial arts skill is so great and he's so powerful that he's been bombed to death. He's been he's been hit by bombs. He's been thrown off a cliff. He can generate electricity from from his power. Let's just say all that is is uh, let's just say all that is entirely fucking possible and then you got this guy whose only real talent is beating the crap out of people with a baseball bat how's that gonna work out like like a lot of these characters like i said can like fucking shoot fire or some shit like that you know they're doing all these weird things they're jumping up there here comes the guy with the baseball bat i'm gonna get you i'm gonna get you <laughs> really i just I, I no that that's just like 
Come on, get the fuck out of here with that shit. There's no need for Negan to be, there's no, why is he in this game? Why? This is stupid. I'm sorry. Like I said, I know this is going to maybe come out looking like a ridiculous fucking fanboy, and it happens once in a while. I'm sorry. Here, we're, that's where we are. But I still think that this is like one of the dumbest ideas that I've seen in a video game in a long time. And believe me, there's a lot of stupid shit out there that I'm like, what the hell are you guys doing? But this time, seriously, what the hell are you guys doing? Negan? Why? This guy does not need to be in this game. Stop this. All right, this is just some weird-ass product placement. Like I said, the show, the game itself, Tekken is probably dying. I'm sure there's a good, I'm sure there's a big good scene. I don't want the game to die. I like Tekken 7, but when I heard about this, I almost like trade my copy in. I'm like, fuck this game, I'm not playing this shit no more. Like, really? I'm just like, th this guy, ooh, look at me, I have a baseball and a barbell. Oh no, he's just a badass. Yeah, you're a badass in a world that's run by zombies and you beat the shit out of local farmers or whatever like that to take their shit because you're a jackass. But when you're coming up against like people with like fucking martial arts, come on, come we all know that if this Negan guy went against like an actual, any type of person who had any ability to fight back and he come up with the baseball, they're gonna be like, oh, you're gonna get fucked up. I mean, come on. N Negan might fit, he'll fit in the world that he's in, but come on, you're gonna take this piece of shit and put him in a, in a freaking game where he has, that just makes no, absolutely no sense whatsoever him being there? Get the fuck out of here. These aren't zombies, these are martial arts fighters, and like I said, I know, I know, it's just a video game, and I get that, and I will calm down about this eventually, but I just thought this was freaking stupid, and I just felt like I had a rant about it, so anyway, Fuck you, Negan. Stay the hell out of Tekken. I know there's nothing I can do about it, but seriously, what's just, just no. I just.